Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Builderment. Let's get to it. I was just kind of watching the production of the turbochargers. They're just flying out of here like crazy. <laughs> now there's not a whole lot, but that's fine. I'm not real worried about that because we have other things to work on. We'll let this go, um, even at its kind of slow pace. And then uh, once we get done with the next thing, maybe we'll come back and we can amp up production of this component that seems to be the slow one. Which is what the nano wire most likely. Yeah, I think that's what's coming in slow. But this episode, we want to jump on the super computers. So let's find those in the tree here. Oh, uh, industrial frames. <laughs> oh yeah, um, brings back memories. We got to deal with concrete weakness here soon. Uh, rotors, that's all fine. Where I'm looking for someone that needs super computers. This guy does. All right, it's going to unlock the atomic locator. That sounds pretty cool. Like it? All right, supercomputer, we need computers, heat sinks, turbochargers, and couplers. Uh, we just saw that couplers were backed up. We're producing superchargers, although kind of weak. We'll probably split that anemic belt to um, make supercomputers out of half of those turbochargers. Heat sinks, we have a ton, and computers. Computer production is pretty slow. But we have those going into storage right now, so maybe some have accumulated. We need 100 supercomputers here, so that's not terrible, right? That's kind of a piece of cake. Where else do we need these things? I'm just kind of curious. Turbochargers still have 300 and whatever that is, 75. Left to go there. Particle glue, we saw that. Industrial frames. Supercomputers 500, yep. Yep, yep. Industrial frames. Supercomputers, another hundred. Huh. Doesn't look like we need that many. I think eventually we probably do. Maybe they go into something else. Like the quantum entangler. <laughs> These look pretty cool. All right. All right, all right. Get to it. We just need to find a place that's kind of centrally located um, amongst our factories for computers, heat sinks, turbochargers, and couplers. Let's see if we can figure that out. We know where the turbochargers are. We're right there. So that's turbochargers. Kind of not far from the hub, actually. We got heat sinks, a whole mess of them. We saw a couple belts with backed up heat sinks, I thought. One was over here, right? We've got these storing up. 675, but I think we saw another belt that had even more just sitting yeah this this belt here is just crazy full of heat sinks and that's in a kind of convenient location as well and computers not those were right here so let's maybe this area maybe we route this belt and just opposite where we're doing the turbochargers yeah right in here looks kind of good to me so let's Let's change up this belt of coal. Have it kind of come down here. I know I'm going to throw away a bunch of coal, but sometimes that's, that's going to have to happen. Because I want the space more than I want the coal sitting on that belt. Okay, and we're just going to copy this guy. Um, yep, yep, yep. Because this is what we want, pretty much, this setup. And we'll slap it right up here. Maybe we can do it to look almost identical to the one below. Um, yeah, that's fine. We are going to need to supply the goodies. Let's do it. How about we run splitter here? This is bad, but um, because we don't have many turbochargers, but we're going to borrow some from this guy. Here's our first input. Now let's grab these computers. 
I guess we'll just come through. In fact, I can do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? There's computers on their way. Had a few stored off. Yeah, production is even slower than the um, than the turbochargers here. Look at that. Pretty rough. All right, now we need... What were the other two ingredients? In fact, let's set the recipe for these guys. We want supers. We got computers. We got turbochargers. Couplers. That'll be easy. Right down here. In fact, where do those guys come in? Let's do... Do right here. Um, can I put an underground belt right away? Looks like it. Looks like it. Build. Underground belt. You to, I guess, as far as you can. Why not? Boom. There's a coupler. has got tons of those. And see what the bottleneck's going to be. Fortunately, we need only one turbocharger per supercomputer. Uh, looks like we got a lot of computers. That's going to be good. And tons of couplers. I don't think that'll be a problem. And let's tap into that belt, this belt. Even though I was storing them up over here. Uh, somewhere over here. Over here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I want to use these. Um, uh, what can I do about that? Let's... It's starving out copper over here. I'm going to kill this belt. And we're going to kind of orphan this production line for a bit. I'd rather have these, this copper going into this, these, this production. Like we have extractors we could be upgrading to. Uh, we got tons of cash. Let's do it while we see it. Takes a second. Boom. And... Overload all these guys too. Just because we have the cash. Uh, extractors. Boom. And then if we swing by and see the furnaces need upgrading, then we'll, we'll come back and do that. All right. But this is the belt we want to tap in for electromagnets. And we can do that from above. In fact, maybe this makes sense. Uh, I'm not crazy about that, but that works. And actually, maybe we match up to this guy. Boom. Now we need to get on the main belt. Oh, I kind of set myself up a little bit for problems, but we can do this. This will work. All right, what are we waiting on now? Oh, waiting on, yeah, the electromagnets. Here they come. I hope that's what, not electromagnets, um, heat sinks. I think those are the heat sinks, right? Hope so. Yep, yep, yep. Man, there I go with this. Tilting the screen drives me crazy, and I do it every time. Not on purpose. I'm just so used to hitting the shift key to speed things up. But if you shift and scroll, you're going to rotate the screen. The feature, not a bug, but when you're not expecting it, it's not great. All right, here they come. Let's see if we get any of these things. Production slow. But I'm sure everybody's going to be waiting on turbochargers. There it goes. Let's see what this little guy looks like. Uh, looks like a little box. All right, supercomputers are done. Looks like we got an upgrade. 
let's see, what did we get? What did we get? Oh, we got the longer tunnels. That'll free up some concrete. <laughs> oh man, we need a lot of concrete. That's why I keep grimacing when I see that. Okay, we need 278 turbochargers. We just cut the kind of the production of these in half, basically the production that's going into research. That's going to take a while. We don't really need that upgrade other than just kind of completing the tree, I don't think. Um, definitely not urgent. Okay, we've got a couple options here. Yeah, oh, 500 supercomputers. I skipped right by that. That's for the forge upgrade. That would be kind of nice to have. Um, so, yeah, we've got some choices. We can go for industrial frames. Or we can look to amp up production of the uh, turbochargers. Let's just take a look and see if there's an easy fix for this. I don't think there is, right? It's the nanowire. If there's something easy in the kind of supply chain that we can just amp up, right? It looks like it's carbon fiber. Okay, and then the hold up there is graphite. It's a decent belt of graphite, but maybe there's something we can do to upgrade down this way. Those are saturated belts. Compressed belt. This one has room, right? This one looks compressed. In fact, it's even waiting on um, wood. So yeah, we've got something we can potentially improve. These are all tier 4 extractors, but we've got two more we can place. Let's do it. This isn't going to make a huge difference, but it might help a little, and it doesn't take much time. So you can just do one of those. You can maybe shoot in there. Coal power plants. We could do another coal power plant. We got a bunch of coal. Let's see how this guy does. If it doesn't stay compressed, we'll do that. We'll just throw another, yeah, still a gap here and there. Not much of a gap, but a little one. Let's, uh, and we got coal right here. It's super easy. Let's throw another one of these down. Coal power plant. Or we could do that. <laughs> we could do the nuclear plant. We have to try that. I don't know where to try it, but we need to try it. Uh, yeah, let's get that guy over on the far right side too, included in this. Build. That should help a little, right? All those are covered by that coal power plant, and these guys will be covered by this one. It's almost compressed without it. That's running, that's running steady, that's running steady. I cannot do a third one unless we tap into these trees, which we could do if we really wanted to. And that might allow us to compress this belt, but let's, uh, I don't want to move on to the next thing. And just let this run in the background. Cache is looking fantastic. So let's do that. Let's move on to the next thing that we may have some projects to do as part of this industrial frames. All right, this has got three inputs, concrete metal frames and tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide is what we're using to make our um, couplers. I think we had extra. We just took that off the belt. Where are you, tungsten carbide? Oh, what happened to our, <laughs> look at our coupler belt. This thing was fully compressed but we chewed through it. Uh, this guy must use a lot of couplers. Four, that doesn't seem like a lot. Um, let's see, tungsten carbide. That's couplers. Bunch of tungsten carbide, right? So, yeah. A couple things I see here. One, we could amp this up. 
Where we could say live off the live off the couplers you're getting. Oh no no no, what's going? Yeah yeah, couplers are going through the belts here. Boom underground. I think I'm gonna say live with the couplers you got. I'm not gonna upgrade that because I want to tap into this tungsten carbide for the next the next um the next product we need to make. Tungsten carbide. That's easy to find concrete. We're just going to have to do a new batch of concrete. Oh, you know what? Super embarrassing. And maybe you guys pointed this out. Um, and I haven't seen it yet because I've been recording in advance. I'm looking all over for stone. I'm like, oh, that's all tapped out. And come over here. It's like, oh man, this is tapped out. We even got coal power plants. Where's, where's stone? I'm looking all over. There's a huge thing of stone, like right here, right, right. <laughs> close by that I just was not looking at. So let's, uh, let's get doing some concrete. What is the recipe for that even? Oh, it's the steel. It's the steel rods that hold us back on a concrete. Um, that is where right in front of me. Or is it over here? Yeah, here come the steel rods. Uh, it's the other branch of steel rods coming down this way. Oh man, that's a long trip. Yeah, steel rods and sand, it looks like. The steel rods are clearly the issue. Sand is not a problem. Yeah, we were over here not too long ago, right? Amping up this production. Yeah, we got sand going that way. And if we need more sand, we saw that whole stone deposit. But our issue is clearly the rods. If we can solve that problem, we could tap into this line of concrete. Is that going on the belt? Yeah, it is going on the belt. We still have research that needs it. Right? Can't remember where that was, but we saw it. There's one that still needs a bunch. Not that one. That one. Where is it? Uh, I'm not going to find it now. But anyway, let's uh, let's ramp up. Let's see if we can amp up the rods that are heading into here. Steel rods should be easy, right? Isn't it like uh, just iron into? Yeah, yeah. It's just oh, it's graphite. Okay, iron and graphite. Bunch of iron and graphite into steel, and then steel gets worked into steel rods. All right, so we're going to need more graphite. Got a little bit of surplus graphite here, right? Um... We could put that into a third row, do a splitter here, run graphite out this way and up to another row of these guys. Most, most of these are actually firing. I'm surprised. Looks like the last two rarely get fired, but we could try to tap into that graphite, do another row here and then bring a fresh belt of iron ore from far away or this this has room for improvement right these are there's a lot of tier three extractors here and it's it's kind of a mess right or we could just tap into something new and compress a belt of iron and bring it over Whoops, not that way. Yeah, we need to come up through here somewhere. I think we should do that. This graphite belt is significantly backed up. In fact, while we're waiting to do that, why don't we throw some storage on here? Just in case this thing runs dry like we saw the couplers do.
take advantage of my slow gameplay to cash some items. So we're going to make use of that. I think this belt will be just fine. And we're going to copy this, I think. Most of this. Go over here somewhere. We're gonna have to wiggle some things around a bit. Um, oh, if we could make that work, let's try it. Let's try it. That goes bye bye. This is gonna change that steel beams. In fact, you why don't we put you over here? Then we move this down a little bit. I think we're gonna do we're gonna do more moving things around. And then we're gonna split this graphite. Uh, that's the outer belt. So let's do do this. We'll try to make it look a little bit nice too as we do it. So you you. Kind of a mistake. All right. Put my splitter right there. Boom. How do I want to do this? I know what I want to do, but I can't do it as pretty like I thought I was going to be, <laughs> be able to. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that at all. All right. Bear with me for a second. I need, need a splitter. There. And then this goes. Okay, so that's our graphite coming through. Now we just need to get a nice steel belt or iron. What is it? Yeah, just a belt of iron ore. That'll get us a whole bunch of steel beams. Then we need to find our way back down this way. I oh this guy, what's the matter? Did I put him on backwards or something? You're supposed to be making rods. What's the issue? Let me rotate this belt. Sometimes that does it. Yeah, isn't that weird? Okay, now it's working. Don't have an upgrade for that. I think it's gonna catch up. I think it's gonna catch up. Yeah, just looking at the output belt and where we want to route it. I need to get back over here. We could reverse this and go across this way and down. Or we could hop and make this even messier over here. Uh, we're going to get steel beams off of this. Or... Or if I was smart, I'll just loop this one over here. Let's um, delete you for a second. Copy you, put you down there. Delete you. These guys come through. We'll see if this works or if it's going to get clogged right out of the gate. It looks like it's working. And then this is actually going to change. These are doing what? Rotors? Yeah, rotors. Uh, rotors are going to be on hold for a second. In fact, we just want to rotate this. Oink. 
and then our output belt's going to come straight down. Iron belt's going to come up through here. Output belt's going to connect right there. This mess goes away. Now we just need to bring iron up through here. I'm just going to tap into this. Do it. Uh, do I have coal nearby? You. That looks pretty darn saturated. We'll probably borrow that for, um, or you know what's the coal factories. Let's get to building factors. And let's get it upgraded before we start copying. Doink, doink, doink. We have the cash. Look at our cash, man. Looking good. We just need a belt of iron ore. It doesn't have to be pretty. Don't need to overthink this this part. Just need a compressed belt of iron ore. Um, that's fine. You. Send this guy on his way so we can figure out just how much we need. Uh, it's where is it it's again? Way over this way, right? Yeah, you can. Join us near this part. Then maybe, yeah. Come up from the bottom like these other guys do. This is no whoops, whoops, whoops. Keep. This is the column we want to make our way up. Let's see. Hopefully, we'll hit the iron thing. Come on. <laughs> Maybe not. Where is it? Oh, man. They're going to make it hard on me. Way past it. Oh, I didn't hit, uh, must not hit space to actually build this section. Up, 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 yep, further up. Let's get it built. And now we can do our little trick here or whatever to get this thing to line up. All right, that was our attempt at increasing steel rod production. Um, and that belt we just placed was actually to kind of resupply a line that we cut off that's actually helping us with rotors. Outputs, we did. This is going to be backed up. Just in case, let's um do this differently. I think this is going to catch up. Burning through all the iron that's coming through. This looks fairly backlogged. We are going to get another workshop here. Um, I guess we can tell if this backlog moves down and stays moving down. Let's just keep an eye on it. I think it's going to keep finding its way down. Which means, yeah, we're going to get caught up. That'll catch up, I think. Yeah, definitely. And this guy, same thing. Should be able to handle that load. 
And then eventually this guy will get his iron ore. Hopefully it's on its way. Very good. But I'm not sure how much longer we need the rotors on the belt. All right. So that was, that was in hopes of getting more concrete. Concrete is where here. Yeah, this belt. We got plenty of sand coming in. We're gonna tap in. <laughs> we're gonna tap into this concrete. Oh man, it still looks pathetic, but we'll see. We'll see. We got carbon fiber on the belt. We don't need. Uh, I want to look at the recipe again. There's turbochargers. We're close. 178 left. Supercomputers. We're not very close. Those are slow. Earth tokens. We want to get to Earth tokens. Once this, um, once we get a hundred thousand iron gears in the work in the um, research lab, you probably want to cut that belt off and throw down some storages and save up iron gears for the next upgrade. I would think. Here we go. Industrial frames, concrete, metal frames, and tungsten carbide. Concrete. We saw. Here's our concrete. Let's just get our bearings. Where stuff is at. The concrete's kind of. A ways out from the hub, off to the right. Tungsten carbide is even further back. Right, that's over here. We're gonna try and tap into this. Did I put storages on this thing? Should. While I'm waiting. Oh, oh the asymmetry is gonna gonna upset people. Let me turn that. That. Um, yeah, let's upgrade this. So maybe, hey, okay, that's a little better. That looks a little better, actually. So maybe in here somewhere. Is our factory and what's the third ingredient? Metal frames. Frames. We had a ton of those sitting on the belt right here. Uh, in fact, I'm st <laughs> I'm storing them. Did we just do this? Yeah, we did. I don't even remember. All right. There's our metal frames. So this looks like the place. Now this looks like the place for the factory, somewhere around here. And this one takes three inputs. Oh, we got an upgrade. Let's take it. Oh, that was super a uh, supercomputer one. Yeah, atomic locator. I like the name of that. Let's uh take that. We're about to get another one here too with the rotors. Yeah. Once we pull the rotors off the belt, um, we might be able to repurpose those rods and get even more concrete. But look how slow they are. The iron must not be in the factory yet that we rerouted. Um, got what I was looking for. Oh yeah. I want to see what this is made in industrial factory. So somewhere up here, Guess we'll do something like this. Build industrial factory. Boom. Um, upgrade it. Give it a recipe for Oh, do I need to unlock something to get the recipe? Might. Made in the industrial factory, industrial frames. Hmm. It's just, I'm just looking down here at the stuff we haven't done to see if industrial frames get unlocked further down or something. What am I missing? Something obvious. 
factory tier four. We don't care. Top tier four. Don't care. What am I missing here? I'm obvious. Something obvious. Made in the industrial factory. That's an industrial factory. A tier three. My recipes. I don't see industrial frames, right? All right, game over. We must have won. So something, there's something in the tree we need to do before this, it looks like. What could it be? That's earth tokens. This is all belty stuff. This shouldn't unlock anything but belt speed. Those are all done. That's all done. This row has this guy. Unlocks a forge. Don't care. Yeah, it's almost done. Unlocks gyroscope and stabilizer. That's not stuff we care about right now. Industrial frame. Oh, man. Okay, we got to get this. So... Bummer. We have to unlock this guy. So we need... Thousand concrete, thousand. I see, I see. But we can't do that until this is ready. So once we get 15 more rotors, about a half hour from now, we will unleash all of our stored up concrete, metal frames, and tungsten carbides. In fact, I don't think we're storing the concrete. Let's do it. That might be all the storage we need. And then we'll dump all this on the belt and hopefully unlock the industrial frames, right? And then we can get that factory going. I guess while we're, while we're waiting, I got nothing. <laughs> There's nothing. Let's go see what's going on with rotors first. I thought that was, we saw that over here. First, where are you going, rotors? You're not going on the belt, huh? You're being used for something else. That's the issue. We probably used to put them on the belt. Now they're solely going to electric motors. Okay, that's an easy fix. We only need 15 more. Yeah, we must have just taken these off at one point. In fact, in the interest of time, that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, fifteen. Tell you what, let's wrap the episode here. Um, when we come back, the rotors will probably be done, and then um, we'll unlock that upgrade, and then we can set loose all of our concrete blocks, put those on the belt. We need a thousand of those, we need a thousand, whatever the other stuff was. This one, we need a thousand concrete. 1,000 metal frames, that might not be too bad. And then 1,000 tungsten carbide, that might not be bad either. We might have that already saved up, to tell you the truth. Um, in fact, we probably have most of this saved up except for the concrete. So we'll set this loose, get this one researched, and then maybe either amp up other things while we're waiting or find something new to work on, like these atomic locators or something. But yeah, that's it for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Builderman. What a cool game. Love it. Try it. I think you'll like it too if you're a factory game enthusiast like I am. It's so easy to get into. So, so easy. And it flows. So easy to build. I like it quite a bit. I um, want to thank GladderCat patrons and channel members as always for their support. Deeply, deeply appreciated. If you'd like to help support the GladderCat channel and keep it alive, there's links to do so in the description, and I would be grateful for that support. Uh, and with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.